All right, hello everyone. Um, here is the next video in support of our, our grow bags and showing people how to do them. We have uh, another fully colonized bag right here. And as you can see, it's this is all carbon dioxide that's been given off by the mycelium. It's full of carbon dioxide right now. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's time to give this thing a fresh breath. We're gonna go ahead and of course, uh, clean it down with your 70% isopropyl. And this is just one more way that you can do it. And this, 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 this way is going to, uh, this is if you don't want to put it into a tub and you don't want to do anything except for grow the mushrooms out of this bag. And what we want to do is just make sure and just really everywhere. Spray it down with alcohol. Get it real clean. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Okay. So, what this is going to entail is we are going to, uh, we'll just take a pen, make sure we got enough alcohol off the bags because it always wipes off, and what we'll do is, is just make some dots in, on the bag about every two inches. Okay, and then what we'll do is, is you'll just need an, an X-Acto knife, or if you have even a needle, if you have a sterile needle that's in the package still, or if you just clean the needle, or, um, or an X-Acto knife, uh, clean this real quick. Okay, dry that off, cool that down with some alcohol real quick. All right. Okay, so now first and foremost, these these mushrooms, we don't want to we don't want mushrooms just growing anywhere out of the bag, which will happen. So the mushrooms are gonna grow towards the oxygen. Um, so what we're going to want to do is, I've got a couple rubber bands, I just used two or three of them, just regular rubber bands, and I'm going to bring those down, and I'm going to actually put those at about halfway down through the block. And so these just barely tight enough, but they're snug enough to, to cut off. We just don't want the oxygen to be going up towards the top. We're trying not to have fruits just coming out of the bottom and everywhere. And so now that we have that done, what we will do is I made some marks around this bag. Some of them stayed real good. Some of them not so much is I'm going to go around in a circle 
and I'm just going to poke it in with my X-Acto knife and twirl it a little bit because I want a good size hole in there for, for the mushrooms. And then of course you'll need your paper tape. And here I'll go all the way around with it. Sometimes the way this bag is, it's I just want to make sure that I'm not losing any holes. And see what we're doing is just, here's another hole that I made. We're going to stick tape just right over the hole. Here's another one right here. There it is. All right, we'll get that one right there. And another. Like I was saying, just about every two inches going around in a circle. And and I'm just up above from the sub substrate. I'm probably about uh, an inch and a half to two inches above um, the bottom of our uh, brick on the inside. And when using the X-Acto knife, you just want to make sure that you're getting 
good holes in there that just don't tape back shut again, like sit down on each other. So when you stick the blade in there, or if you're using a needle, just drag it down and, and even stretch the plastic out a little bit. Just to make sure the hole just doesn't close back up on itself. And all the smells coming out of here, they shouldn't be, uh, they should smell like mushrooms. Shouldn't have like a real, a bad odor or no kind of, nothing like that. Get us one more real good size one over here. Our goal is to be letting this thing breathe and to be getting the um, carbon dioxide out of the bag while putting fresh oxygen in here and keeping the humidity and everything inside the bag. So next what we're going to do is right up here at the top, right below the patch, we're going to go ahead and cut, we're going to cut a real nice, we're probably going to cut a square out like that which I'll just show you. Okay, now as you can see, I've made this hole right here just in the top like that, about that big. And now I want to introduce some water because this does look, when I look in there, I mean, it looks beautiful, but I could use a little bit of moisture in here. That's what we're trying to, to do is give this thing oxygen and maybe just a little bit of a drink of water. So now that we have introduced a little bit of moisture, we'll just go ahead and take another piece of paper tape.
and as you can see we just taped that hole right back over and so what we're trying to do here is just the carbon dioxide weighs more than oxygen so we're trying to have the carbon dioxide come out these holes cause suction in the bag and suck fresh oxygen in through this patch right here in a very slow and drawn out process. So let's go ahead and put this into a uh, fruiting condition, stick it under some light. It's not seen light in its whole life yet. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, stick it, stick her in there and, and we'll, uh, we'll have an update right as soon as we start getting some mushrooms on there. Hey, thanks everybody. Have a great day.